Hi students! Welcome to our eighth and the last video in this series about routines. Today we are going to review everything that we've learned. We're going to review how to make sentences in the past, the present, in the future. We're going to make positive sentences, negative sentences. We're going to make sentences with I, he, and she, and we're going to review all of those words that we learned in these videos. Let's start with the present. Okay, I'm going to make sentences, positive sentences, negative sentences, sentences with I, and sentences with he and she. Okay, and I'm going to use the first verbs that we learned in the first few videos, okay? So the first verb that we learned was watch, okay? I watch TV. I don't watch TV. She watches, remember, in the third person, in the present, we have to add an S or an ES to the end of the verb. So watch becomes watches. She watches TV. She doesn't watch TV. So in the third person, don't changes to doesn't. Let's try it with another verb. The second verb we learned was ride. I ride my bike. I don't ride my bike. She rides, notice the S, she rides her bike. She doesn't ride her bike. Let's try it again with another word, play. Um, I play on my cell phone. I don't play on my cell phone. He plays on his cell phone. He doesn't play on his cell phone. I eat lunch. I don't eat lunch. He eats lunch. He doesn't eat lunch. Okay? So in the present, the third person changes. The third person doesn't change in the past or the future. Just the present. Okay? So let's go to the past. Remember the important points about the past are that there are regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs, we just put ed at the end of the verb, and irregular verbs, everyone is different, so you have to memorize them. And when we make a negative sentence with a didn't, remember the verb that comes after it stays in the infinitive. So the first phrase we're going to use is take a shower. So in the past, I took a shower. I didn't take a shower. She took a shower. She didn't take a shower. Notice the third person is the same as I because the third person doesn't change in the past. Let's try it again with another phrase. Um, I'll use the phrase got dressed or get dressed. In the past, it's I got dressed. I didn't get dressed. He got dressed. He didn't get dressed. I brushed. Did you hear that? Brush in the past becomes brushed. It's regular. We put an ed at the end, but the pronunciation is a little different. It sounds like a t. Just like watched. Brushed. Okay? I brushed my teeth. I didn't brush my teeth. She brushed her teeth. She didn't brush her teeth, okay? That concludes our review of the past, and now let's go on to the future. What are those important words that we need to remember for the future? Will and won't, okay? Remember will, we just put in front of the verb, and won't is a combination of will and not becomes won't, okay? So we're gonna use the last verbs that we learned and make sentences in the future. The first one is go to my grandma and grandpa's house. So I will go to my grandma and grandpa's house. 
I won't go to my grandma and grandpa's house. He will go to his grandma and grandpa's house. He won't go to his grandma and grandpa's house. I will go to the grocery store. I won't go to the grocery store. Um, she will go to the grocery store. She won't go to the grocery store. And the last verb is listen, listen to music. So I will listen to music. I won't listen to music. He will listen to music and he won't listen to music, okay? And that concludes a review of the future. Now, there are a few verbs. I just want to review um, their past forms, their irregular past forms, okay? So how do we say eat in the past? Eight. And how do we say go in the past? went. And how do we say do in the past? Did. Okay? Now, let's review those other words and phrases that we learned in these eight videos. The first word is tomorrow, yesterday, every day, often, sometimes, always, in the morning and on the weekend, okay? So now I'm gonna take everything that we learned, positive sentence, negative sentence, past, present, future, and those little words and phrases, and I'm gonna use them to create beautiful, big sentences, okay? Every day in the morning, I take a shower and brush my teeth in the bathroom. On the weekend, I always go to my grandma and grandpa's house and eat lunch. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store and put away the groceries in the kitchen. And tomorrow, I will eat breakfast in the dining room and then I will do my homework in my bedroom. Okay, look at those beautiful long sentences that I created with everything we learned. Did you understand them when I said them? I hope so. Now I want you to create beautiful sentences, okay? I want you to tell me, what do you do every day? What did you do yesterday? And what will you do tomorrow, okay? Try to be honest and truthful. Tell me exactly what you did, what you will do, okay? And what you do every day. And you can write them and take a picture and send it to me on WhatsApp or you can make a video of you talking and send it to me on WhatsApp, okay? So this is our last video in the series about routines, and next week I will introduce the next theme, okay? So who's excited? Me theme, I am. <laughs> okay, so I will see you next week. I miss you guys, and I send you hugs and kisses. Bye-bye, see you later.